folks, this is your captain speaking. We're currently flying by Winnipeg. Passengers are invited to look out the windows if they need a good laugh. Enjoy your flight today, and thank you for choosing your camp. How was your meal, Mr. Schwartz? Fine. Oh, can I get you something else? Another cutlet, more escargot, fresh lobster tail? Uh, no, thank you, but it was delicious. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, may I offer you one of our expensive imported liqueurs? Compliments of the captain. Uh, you do know who I am? Oh, you're Jerry Schwartz, the man who tried to merge Canada's two small airlines into one giant bankrupt one. <laughs> I, I guess you've forgiven me for leading that hostile takeover bid for Air Canada. Oh, of course, Mr. Schwartz. We don't hold grudges at Air Canada. And it was very nice of your president to give me this lifetime VIP pass. Mr. Schwartz, our job at Air Canada is to provide our passengers with the absolute best service, even if they happen to be an insensitive, opportunist American Airlines frontman. <laughs> Dessert? <laughs> at Cherry's Jubilee, Peach Melba, a little Belgian chocolate cheesecake. Oh, this is very civilized, but uh, no thanks. Oh, pillow, magazine, little packet of peanuts? Uh, no, no, thanks. Well, it certainly has been our honor having you on board today. Folks, this is your captain speaking. As a special courtesy, our VIP passengers may now deflate. That's you, Mr. Schwartz. We know you're a very oh. busy man. <laughs> thank you. The service was so wonderful, I hadn't even noticed we'd landed. Well, bye-bye, and thank you for flying Air Canada. Uh, folks, this is your captain again. Please put your chair back in the upright position. We'll be landing in ten minutes. <laughs>